Hello everyone and welcome to a new video here on Let's Walk Around Stockholm. Another day, another video. Another you know walk. it, you know it, uh, Olaf. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> How are you doing? I'm fine. How are you, Daniel? I'm great, I'm great. I'm happy to have you back on the show. And where are we? We are in front of the Matthäus Schürkan. Yes, at Banadisvägen in Vasastan. Vasastan, yes. And uh, it's time for another walk and um, yeah, let's explore the area a little bit. How was your Easter? It was nice. <laughs> not that warm. <laughs> no, not that warm, no. But uh, it was still nice. Oh, I like this. This looks cool. Yeah. So today we're going to walk in the direction of... That's called Vanadis Lunde, right? Over yes. there. And we learned what a Lund was the other day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Some bushes or... Yeah, you looked it up. I looked it up, exactly. Oh, I like the light straight away in this video. It's a beautiful spring day with a clear sky. It's not that war warm because it is, it is in the morning. Yes. So it's like eight, nine centigrades. Something like that, yeah. It's not too warm, but it's still a nice day. You know, for me, I actually don't need to have it very warm as long as the sun shines you know and not too windy and things like that so this is Westmanagatan this is a very nice street actually it's cool all right so we're probably gonna record two walks today let's see how it goes <laughs> Are we going all the way up there to the swimming pool? Or? <laughs> I would hope so. Uh, actually, that's a big water container that would, would, which looks like a castle. Is that a water container? Yeah. I had no idea. Oh, Center Partiet. <laughs> <laughs> which would translate as the middle party or something like that? I don't yeah, know. Something like that. So it's a political party, basically, which is like not too much to the left, not much to the right, kind of in the middle. It was named the Farmers Party. From oh, was it? Yep. So, so I think for... Um, oh, one, one second. Oh, oh. So let's have a look at the left here. We've got Upland's Gotham. And some... Yeah, 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 this area looks really nice, especially when the trees are all getting green a bit later on. So that's a water container over there. That's interesting. Yeah. <laughs> I've been here quite a few times in the area, but I never realized it was a water container. Well, we'll find out soon. Maybe yeah. we have some sign or something saying. Because I've been at the swimming pool uh, up there. Have you been there? Yeah. Quite Many nice. years ago. Yeah, it was also a long time ago, yeah, with me. Actually, before they redid it. A doggy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Marie sees it. Yeah. So yesterday, uh, Jewel, she wrote to me. Yeah. That she she can't be with the uh, premieres anymore, so for some reason. That's a bit unfortunate. Could, could be timing, like uh, yeah. to work or something. It doesn't matter, but I still think it's really polite if someone actually tells me that, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, I think that says quite a lot yeah. about our community, that we're so tight that when people cannot make it, they actually excuse themselves. <laughs> Which I think is super cute and super yeah. heartwarming, actually. Yes. Um, and, uh, so this is also funny. It's like the Matthäus <laughs> Grill. So after you go to the Matthäus Church, you can go to the Matthäus Grill. Yeah. I like that house. Oh, it's that looks really cool. House, In glass at balcon. Yeah. <laughs> So this is Nortul's Gotan here. Let's have a yeah. look at the left. Oh, I love the light today. 
Yeah. So nice. It is very nice. And this is a school to the left. And cool. if you guessed what would the name of the school be? Matthias? <laughs> <laughs> huh? Right smack on. <laughs> this Matthias guy, he had a lot of uh, influence in the area. Yeah. Oh, well, it looks nice. I've actually played here a few times. Yeah. With the kids here. Not me, it was my kids. Well, I always play with them. But <laughs> Let's see, what does it say? Swedish sayings on the wall. Can you read them out or? No. What else ja means and uh, mimodisch mi blick. Well, the only thing I remember is my mother's uh, Look in her eyes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hedra fader och moder, sitt första land har ingen råd att mista. Quite cool. Yeah. So Fosterland is that Fosterland is that where the land where you're born? Yeah. Yeah. And I think the sex of the land is changing from language to language. Germans speak of Vaterland and the fatherland or the motherland. Yeah, yeah. Yes. But is there also countries that say father tongue instead of mother tongue like as your national la native I, language? I not sure. I don't think so. No. I have not heard of that. That's interesting. Fatherland, motherland. Yeah, I never yeah. thought about that. Is this the Matthias food store? No, it's the Ica, <laughs> Ica it's the, supermarket. It's the Ica supermarket. Someone actually uh, mentioned on one of my videos before that that they consider this a food store and not a supermarket, and that supermarket is only the really big ones. Like a, what we call Ica Maxi, for example. Yeah. That's, that's interesting that's because the it's, way it's described in Sweden. But if you go to other countries, supermarket could be quite small. Yeah. Shop. Well, here, here also, this one is quite small. So it depends a little bit, I guess. Yeah. Ah, you can call it food store, then it's always correct, I guess. Because the press <laughs> Beruan, that that's more like a new agency, actually, but. Uh, and now we're crossing Hagagatan. Hagagatan. If you draw a line from Hagagatan straight out, you will go to the Haga Park. Oh, Haga yes, yes. Well, well, this is nice, this little garden here. Let's have a look. Yeah. Some tulips. Do you want more? Nice. You can see now the it's blossoming. So cool. What do we got there. Oh, 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 oh. Nice. And this is the part of the stuff from the road. Sorry, say that again. But those buildings, the, the grey ones, are part of the Stockholm University. Oh, cool. Uh, that lady was laughing because she was crossing all the time the <laughs> video, like for the fourth time. That's the way having a dog. Yes, yes. Is up to, the, to the speed of the dog. Well, there's also we're kind of walking slower maybe than you normally would because you still want to have a look at some things and. That's the way having a camera. <laughs> yes, it's like a dog. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Though it doesn't. Uh, sniff so much around. No, not true. Ah, oh, this is also uh, this is like shoe gourd. It's like a self-storage unit I that that's become really popular in recent years because everyone's living so small in Stockholm <laughs> and everybody's having too much gear and too much stuff. So they need to have their stuff in the storage room. Yeah, I, I used to have one too. Well, you you live in a house, so you don't have that. But a lot of people in the inner city, they they need a, a room like that. It's big business. Yeah. But some people pay like three thousand crowns a month just for that. So. 
one of my colleagues in at the work some years ago said that the, the, the value of the things stored in the storage is often lower than the monthly rate. <laughs> oh, absolutely, yes. It's just old children drawings and... Shall we go up there, maybe? We could do that, yes. I, I never, I've never been up there, so... Yeah, let's do that. Then. So there, up there, there's the swimming pool. And there, you down there have been bathing. Yes. Me too. Yes, yes, yes. Not many years ago. Definitely. And this is Sveavägen. Sveavägen, the road that we've walked on for many times. Yeah. But more on the other side. And before it was Sveavägen, it was a much smaller street named Stora Bastugatan. Stora Bastugata? Yes. The big sauna street. Yeah. <laughs> so you can see the signs of spring everywhere now. So nice with flowers. Tulips and crocus and all that. And some graffiti up there. Let's not talk about that. This walk is not going as planned, I think. <laughs> I like it. It's nice. I would say it goes. Maybe it as does. Planned because we don't have any plans. Yeah, that's exactly. Well, we kind of decided on a direction, so that's nice. And this is a former bomb shelter that is a parking lot for 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 the municipalities uh, dump trucks. Oh. <laughs> Tower, a really high tower for Stockholm standards, actually. Yes, that's uh, Vennegren Center. Vennegren Center? Oh. Yeah, built by Axel Vennegren, or he paid for it at least. <laughs> ah. Not unimportant who paid for it. <laughs> it's normally those guys that gives the name of the buildings. Yes, yes, yes. Ah, oh, some nice wooden houses here. I don't think I've ever walked on this side of the hill, only on the other side, so this is nice. Yes. Have you walked here? Yep. You have. I like the contrast between the like old shed and the high tower behind <laughs> it. It's nice. It looks like they have a, a lot of gong, yeah, what's that in English? You mean those uh, <laughs> yeah. iron... Uh... Yeah, it seems like they've just mended it with... <laughs> they patched it up. <laughs> yeah. Well, I also like the shadow of the tree that you see in there, that's nice. Yeah. A bit artistic. Yeah. Oh, good morning birds. Very alive. And now we get the sun directly into the lens. Oh, another beautiful spring day in Stockholm, folks. So how's everyone doing in the chat, gang? Well, I get no answer. I get the answer later on today. So what should we do? Should we go up here? Or? Why not? Why not? Well, if she can run up, then we can walk up. Yeah. Let's see, just over the weekend, how much greener it got there, everything. Yes. The grass is really growing now. And if you come back in one, two weeks and it stays these temperatures, then it will be... The trees will start getting greener. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can see it already coming. And the birds... Very active at the moment. It's good exercise. <laughs> oh, there we can see the other tower. Tour, tour. Yeah. Is that how they call? Yeah. 
I always keep forgetting name of towers like Söderatun. <laughs> uh, oh, someone's being rebellious there. Aiko. Aiko is like, you know, in Stockholm there is three football hockey teams. Yes. That are major. Well, actually four Bromma Poikena also. <laughs> yeah. Because in terms of how many people play, Bromma Poikena is the biggest. Okay. They we have one of the Europe's biggest youth academies. Okay. So it is, I think, the largest clubs, club in terms of how many people play there. But, of course, <laughs> the real three teams are Hammarby, Aiko and Djurgården. And the king is a lifelong member of Aiko. Is he? Yeah. <laughs> I didn't even know that. Now you know. <laughs> Let's see any squirrels. Whoops. No, not yet. They're hiding. They're hiding. Hiding, yeah. But yesterday I was really lucky. I was like, there should be some squirrels. And then I heard... No. And then I saw one. What's squirrel in Dutch? Eichhorn. Ah, and same as German. Yes. Eichhörning. Well, it's not so, so different in Swedish either. Eichhorn. No. It's so funny, it, all, it looks so nice on camera. I'm like looking on my screen. I'm like, oh, this looks good. Maybe have a look at the view yeah. there. Yeah. The nice leaf down. Yeah, oh, perfectly. If you're like growing vegetables in your garden, take some of this. Compost. And I guess you could see the pool from here somewhere. Yeah, maybe if we go even more up. I think you should go to the edge of the Oh, it's here. <laughs> no? No, not Those yet. The houses on top it's more that. that. Yeah. So maybe if we go here and then look. Yeah, I think we might be able to see it here the fence there and like so every time I'm like on walking on these walks I always think oh my god Stockholm is so beautiful I mean look at this <laughs> huh? and then you close the camera down and don't see it anymore well I still see it but you know what I mean it's like well, here, wow. Here you really see the towers. Yes. So what do we got there? We've got that one. It's like Lila Manhattan, as they call it over there. <laughs> yeah. We have uh, the Matthews Church. Yes, you can point your finger. Where is it? That one. Uh, I think yes, so. and then we got that one. That's Gustav Vasa. And that's basically the whole of Vasastan. And we have the tip of the of the. Oh yeah, uh, the city the, hall. The city hall, yes. Cool. So can we see the swimming pool here? I think we can. Perhaps. Yeah, to the left. Yes, there it is. It's pretty dry now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, but I think it should be open the first of May. Yeah. Usually the one in Södermalm also opens 1st of May. I guess it takes some days to fill it. Yes. And as I said, this is a water container, not a castle. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's a cool looking water container. Yeah. Maybe we'll go like that? Yeah. Oh, this uh, turned out better than I was hoping this walk. Yeah. It, I have the same every time I go to Observatory Lunden. Yeah. You know, a bit close to here. It also looks wonderful there up there. It's like and a you different have it world. At the same level as this one. Yeah. Behind the, the Stadsbibliothek. Yes. The municipality library. And no, not even airplane trails or nothing. Eh? Completely mm. blue sky. Swedish flag or the Ukrainian flag you never know nowadays <laughs> like 
Sometimes they're next to each other also. I don't know what you call it in English. In Swedish, the, this type of flag is called vimpel. Vimpel, yeah? Because it's a long, narrow flag. Yes. Not the, the ordinary squarish thing. Yeah, you know what they're called in Dutch? No. Vimpel. Ah, <laughs> that's hard to understand. Yeah, yeah, we have the same because we have <laughs> red, white and blue and then we have the orange Wimpel. Yeah. That's why our national team plays in orange. Okay. Our royal family's last name is Van Oranje. It means uh, from, from orange, it means. That's why our Dutch team plays in orange. Well, not, not just football, every team. Why, why is Sweden uh, blue and yellow? <laughs> is there a reason? Well, I think it looks good together. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So no uh, other... Like gold toward the sky. Maybe, yeah. But there should be a deeper reason behind it. But yeah. Maybe not. Yeah, we even see the pools. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There it is, yeah. It doesn't look much now, but in the summer... Filled with people. Filled with people and chairs and it looks nice. And very busy it can get here. Yeah, and you can have a fika here. Yes. And also they have a playground under it over there. It's very yeah. nice. It's a good day activity. Oh, well, here's the church. Do you know the name of this one? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> I guess I could guess. Then I would guess that it's uh, Matthias Kapellet. Matthias the Matthias Chapel. I guess that. <laughs> yeah, well, we'll find out soon. Let's have a well, look. The this chapel. Perhaps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That sounds about right, also. No more snow here. No more snow. That would have been a nightmare. This hill with snow. Oh, so many flowers there. Check that out. Yeah. Oh yeah, this this would be almost impossible with snow. This uh, <laughs> yeah. so steep. Looks nice. Looks really nice. Well, let's walk around it to see what it's called. We have a flag there. <laughs> Guessing you're saying what it's called. Uh, here, I think this is a winter on the hole. Yeah. <laughs> ah. You're right. As always. Yeah, otherwise you get sued. <laughs> if they fall over, they say, oh, I didn't know. Yeah, well, you didn't read <laughs> the sign. There was a sign. Yeah. Oh, there is the sign of the church. Could be a bone on his chicken as well. Yeah. Up a shirt can her. Nice. So we still have to come up with the word of the day, or did we do it already? No. Nope. Because <laughs> we already walked for 25 minutes, so. Vanadis London. Oh, it doesn't say about the church. Oh, well, it's the map there. Oh. The church would be in the map, I guess. And there is a photo of the Stefan's Shirkan. Stefan? That's right at any point. <laughs> oh, the Stefan Church. Oh, well. We didn't see that coming, but it sounds nice. <laughs> so maybe we go somewhere there? Yeah. Maybe walk another five minutes and then. Uh... Round up at Odengaten. Yeah, perfect. getting a bit thirsty not well, so much yeah. for coffee but just more like water or yeah. so I yesterday I was like no to myself bring a bottle of water today <laughs> forgot my bottle of water <laughs> did you bring one nope no no I had the same experience yeah yeah I have a very nice uh, 
like reusable water bottle, but uh, I always keep forgetting it. And we are going Devon's Gatan down. Devon's Gatan, that sounds cool. Na named after Devon Viljutas in Fenrik Stål Sägner. So what, what, who's that? that that's, that's a guy, Finnish Swedish. Yes. Writing stories about uh, the great war in the uh, uh, beginning of the 19th century. Where so he was a writer? Yeah. Författare. That's yeah. a good word of the day. Författare. Author. Author. Yeah. Författare. We will write it in the <laughs> chat. Yeah. And I don't know how to describe that. Why it's called författare. But that is the way it's called. Författare. Oh, Olof. Cherry blossom. <laughs> yeah. We are not at Kungstegården. Oh, this is nice. And that's also why I want to go to Longholmen because Longholmen you have beautiful cherry blossom too. Yeah. But I'll do that later on in the week. Oh yes, the first cherry blossom of the year, folks. And this this is in a pretty shadeful uh, yeah. street. So nice. Unexpectedly, we bumped into the first cherry <laughs> blossom of the year. Uh, nope, second. We yeah. had that in the Hammarby Höjd too. Oh, you're right. Two, yes, yes. Two trees. Oh, this is starting to look pretty good already. Yeah. Somebody is a bit Not so happy. Sorry. That was nice, little surprise in the end. Yeah. <laughs> and here we have to avoid to film the children. Yes. Oh, I like the buildings here. Yeah. Like the different styles. Window cleaning though would be <laughs> <laughs> difficult. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> you can clearly see like all the bicycles are outside again now. Eh? Yeah. Like everyone's uh, using their bicycle again. And less e-scooters. There's so much less than last year. A third, I guess. Yeah. From from three thousand to to a thousand. And you can really you can really tell the difference. I really enjoyed this walk, uh, Olof. It was yeah, nice. Me too. Some nature, some city, and Vasastan is always nice. Though it's not Södermalm. It's not Södermalm, but... It's Vasastan. Yeah, but to be honest, on a good spring day, I enjoy everywhere in Stockholm. Yeah. Because you can kind of feel a sense of relief in everyone's... Uh, <laughs> now we are attitude. starting the life again. Yeah, yeah, exactly. People are smiling, and people are bicycling, sitting outside the restaurants. <laughs> it was two uh, like uh, 13 year old kids like waving at us. Because I noticed that the young generation, they love it. Yeah. Kids like, because they're so used of being filmed, uh, you know, TikTok, Instagram. I saw some couple of girls doing a TikTok show in, in uh, Solentina Centrum when oh, they went here. Nice. <laughs> yeah, but they don't feel embarrassed. Nope. If I would start dancing on the square here, I would yeah. feel weird. <laughs> but they, they don't really don't care. That's what I mean. Like, yeah. They know this is the way to stop. Yeah, that's that's how you do it. Yeah. Okay, if it, this is a nice spot to, uh, to round up today's video. At exactly 30 minutes walk. And we are at Udengatan. We're at Udengatan. So, thanks everyone for watching another adventure from Stockholm. We give you a thumbs up, so I hope you give us oh. a thumb up as well. <laughs> and I'll see you all tomorrow on a new video. Bye bye.